I'm here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona with Dr. Femi Ariyami, who is the head of wireless business at yes. Fujitsu. Yes, very good to meet you. It's you a pleasure. You too. Yes. So let's start with an easy one. Sure. How is ORAN changing the economics of wireless networks? So traditionally, um, RAN has been built by just a few, a few uh, component providers, and it's closed. With open, we open the interfaces between components. Now it's an influx of new entrants into the market. So what you what you have is you can see the the, the server providers coming in, software providers, automation, control. With 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 many of these new components and many providers coming in, you are we are now expanding the ecosystem. And with the expansion of the ecosystem, choices are there. It lowers the barrier of entry, it brings the new entrants, and overall total cost of ownership goes down. It's very it's an exciting time. It's incredibly exciting. It's a little controversial. Sure. And so and with any new technology, some myths kind of come with it. So sure. what are some of the, the biggest myths or misconceptions around Open RAN? I can give you about three or four. And as you rightly pointed out, they're myths. Um, RAN is based on standards, 3GPP. Mm -hmm. So Open RAN is still meeting all 3GPP requirements. So it's not substandard. The performance is there. Um, and even we're bringing you new features more than what you currently have in your existing RAN. Mm -hmm. Some of the myth, oh, it's not secure. <laughs> it, it's a joke. Yeah. Uh, we have ORAN 3GPP security working groups that are really focused on security, cyber security, security between components, so that we want to make sure that we're not leaving any room for anybody to infiltrate and steal your data. So it's very secure. You hear about, um, uh, it's not, it, the performance is not there. RAN, is, it, 3GPP standard defines uh, how much data throughput you should have, we are meeting all of those. So it's very secure, the performance is there, but we are bringing in new, new, new blood, if you want to call it, right. into the mix so that we lower barrier. Um, there's no lock-in. Um, the, the traditional RAN vendors, they lock you in. We are trying to, to open it up for you. Right, and you, you've mentioned lowering barrier of entry yes. a few times. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about that. Um, so OpenRAN is going to lower barriers for entry, but also foster innovation yes. through doing that. kind yes. of. So what kind of innovation are, are you expecting? One of the biggest ones that I want to talk about is automation. Okay. A, a traditional RAN today, for you to put the RAN in place, a base station, and have it working, it's a couple of weeks, between three to four weeks. With automation, as part of ORAN, it's a couple of hours. Because as soon as you put the radio up and the associated devices below it, I can just push the software automatically into it and have that RAN lighted up. The other piece of the puzzle is, when you are locked in, then the RAN vendors, they control how much software you get when you get it. Is it once a year? Is it once in five years? The innovation that we're seeing now is, each of those features can come from different vendors, okay? And I can roll that into the network as quickly as you have it ready for me. So, innovation is there. I'm serious about innovation. Um, automation is key, okay? Mm -hmm. S security, there are companies now that everything that their company is doing is about security. We've never right. had that before mm -hmm. because everything is closed. So, software, automation, zero touch provisioning, those are some of the exciting things that we're seeing in Open RAN. So how does ORAN's introduction of uh, the RIC kind of change the way that networks are deployed, maintained, operated, all that stuff? So it, again, it's about software. Mm -hmm. um, with, with RIC, you can actually in real time now monitor the network. Fujitsu has something that we called um, uh, artificial intelligence that we're built into our network now so on a real-time basis, I can dynamically adjust the network. I can dynamically repurpose the network. Rick is helping us to do that because it's a, it's a control layer on top of the soft, on top of RAN itself, where we can manage, we can monitor, we can control, we can pull data, we can add more data. So Rick is really making automation very exciting for RAN uh, as part of ORAN. So with the open interfaces, 
then companies, new companies can become a RIC provider, which in, in, in regular run, I don't have that. I can't say I've developed software, it's going to talk to this guy. No. But with Open Run, there are interfaces where you can inject software. You can, you can take out data, analyze them. So ORAN is giving us those possibilities. AI is going to be very big. Uh, we are building AI into our RAN ecosystem now mm -hmm. so that we can really um, uh, be, um, what the word is uh, preventative. I don't have to wait for my network to be attacked before I do something to it. Right. I can predict, based on AI, what is really happening in the network. Is somebody trying to infiltrate over there? AI gives us that benefit. Well, I think you've convinced me that it's very exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> and for Fujitsu, we are not going back. Mm -hmm. Everything that we're developing now and going forward into the next five years, six years, uh, 5G, 6G, right. is going to be based on open RAN. This we believe it. in it. We're not just um, there to, to shake up the environment. Mm. This is this is this is the way we see the future uh, going forward. Perfect. Well, Femi, thank you so much. It's for a pleasure. Your time. It's a pleasure. <laughs>